millennials are forcing us to be innovative. They are forcing us to do different things with technology than we've ever thought we would do. They're forcing us to spend our marketing dollars in different ways. And they're forcing us to do operational enhancements in different functions within a hotel and a brand. Well, millennials love to travel. And our work requires a lot of travel and to really get to know a market and to understand it. And uh, so from that perspective, uh, millennials seem to really enjoy work at HVS and uh, dig in deeply to, to what we do in order to get the work done. The millennials are providing us the necessity to change the way we do business. Uh, that generation, amongst others, uh, don't see the need to carry anything. We don't want to carry cards. We don't want to carry uh, frequent traveler uh, identification. Everything that they have is in a smartphone. And I think that the more that we can incorporate from the arrival process to the check-in process to the actual entry into the guest room process through virtual concierge, all based through smartphone activity, is, uh, is right around the corner. And if it isn't, we're going to fall behind other travel mediums. You know, I mean, we don't think about developing our brands based on a you know, set demographic. We think about mindsets. Now, clearly, you know, this generation uh, is influencing a lot of the experiences we're delivering just because of, you know, they are more tech savvy. You know, they are expecting a different level of personalization through technology, but also they're looking for sustainability and, and green credentials. So that's kind of informing a lot of our design and service delivery. Um, but at the same time, that's working across generations um, because, frankly, we, in some ways, we think it's, it's less about your age. It's more about what it, what it is you're looking for from, from a particular trip. And that's why we create lifestyle experiences, not uh, age-defined experiences. I think something that's interesting that they're forcing us to do as designers is um, is marketing. So where obviously we've always marketed ourselves, but now we're being forced to be very on cue with the owner, the flag, and make sure that we all have the exact same message. Because if we don't, it's immediately seen and becomes flat. And so it's important for us. The population is you know, expected to be somewhere between what, 75 to 80 million millennials. Uh, and their uh, spending power is somewhere around 200 billion dollars um, and they're they're socially active they're they're not bashful about sharing their opinions and you know we think that that's a, a great form of marketing for us it's one thing for us to be able to say that hey we're good at something or we're the best at something but if we can nurture uh, that population that segment of our business and have them speak on our behalf it's actually a great form of advertising. So, you know, we look at this as a, an audience that obviously we want to nurture and we want to cultivate because it really is another form of marketing for us. Yeah, millennials, it's interesting. Uh, the, the discussion around millennials is, uh, is, is always taking a, a turn where people are saying, this is a new generation, it's a different generation. But I kind of think of it this way. The millennials are us. If we had grown up in a world where technological transformation is their everyday norm, we would be thinking and behaving in many of these same ways. So it's not so hard to understand. The millennial generation challenges us. They push us. They make us, I think, a better company for that. They demand uh, more consumer-inspired products in the enterprise. And that's where we're focused on at Agencia with corporate travel. But our solutions are more and more inspired by what's going on in the consumer space. The millennials push us there. They push us to be more persistent and consistent across platforms. You know, the millennials are, are they, they've taught us about technologies. It's almost like what NASA did uh, for space travel and, and took us to the next level of technology. I think the millennials are doing the same thing for all of us now. They, they, they're, they, it's not a, uh, you know, they must have it. I mean, it's not, it's not something they can do without. They live with it. It's an every, everyday part of their life. And uh, they're having us, they're teaching us how to use the same applications and make it much more efficient for us. We're getting more real-time activities versus having to have a month waiting for information to come to us. It's right there. It's right now. And if we learn from them and we, and we try to adapt to them, we'll not only gain their business, but we'll also be more efficient in our operations.
The area that really excites us and motivates us to find a true source of advantage is their consciousness about their surroundings, about their local areas. This is the, the millennials often, um, you think of them as being more value oriented in terms of having um, less money to spend just because of how the economy is and things. But, but really I find them to be more choosy on what they spend money on. But once they decide what they want to spend money on, they're willing, they're more price elastic than a generation before them for experiences. And so in food and beverage, we're seeing a renaissance of food and beverage all across the country that's being driven by the millennials. Uh, the cocktail culture, you know, a $12 cocktail is, is not for the unemployed, and it's not for someone who's underemployed, but it's a matter of experience. So if you can provide an experience um, that's local, that's truly artisanal, there's a real view about something that's handcrafted and made for them and personal and local, that kind of, that that kind of value that, that millennials place on their surroundings and on unique differentiated experiences is what excites me the most because that gives us a source of real advantage that we can focus on at our hotels.